In this video, let's see another category of always continuous functions which is the category of rational function. So far we have seen three functions which we said we just need to memorize, don't need to prove that yes they are always continuous. The first one was a constant function, the second was an identity and the third one is what? Third one that we talked about was polynomial function. So after these all three always continuous or everywhere continuous functions, we have the fourth one which is called as a rational function. Now what is a rational function? As the name suggests, it will take into account the rationality or the numerator and the denominator concept. Suppose I have a function say fx and that is gx upon hx. What category is it? It is a rational function because it is gx upon hx form, numerator upon denominator form and that is actually equal to fx. I can always write it more clearly, more clearly in the sense that equal to needs to be in alignment with this upon. So let's write it like this. Now, when I have taken into consideration, let fx be a function which is what? Which is a rational function for our convenience. So let's write it first, let fx is equal to gx upon hx be a rational function. Now what condition needs to be applied on the denominator? The denominator in any numerical that we saw, numerator upon denominator form, the denominator should never be equal to 0. Why? Because if the denominator is equal to 0, my function would not be defined. So I have a condition that my hx should not be equal to 0. That is the only condition that I have. Rest everything is fine with this function. So basically I say what? I say that yes, this is my function. Now, you know that in a rational function, what will be the gx? And what type of a function will be hx? Both gx and hx. Both of these will be what type of functions? They will be polynomial functions. They may be only, see, here it may be only x. If you say that it is only x, it has to be identity. But you need to remember that yes, identity function and constant function both are the categories of polynomial function only. Because you know that the polynomial function is what? a0 plus a1x and so on. We saw that, right? Now, if it is only a0, that means n is equal to, power n is equal to 0. Still it is what? It is obtained from this polynomial function. So constant function is obtained from polynomial. If I say I am talking about a1x, a0 plus a1x, again what? Again I say yes, it is nearly to identity and it is obtained from what? From polynomial only. So these both should be what? These both should follow the category of polynomial functions. They both should lie into the category of polynomial functions, right? So basically, I say that gx upon hx is there and both gx, both hx should be polynomial functions. If this is the case, that both gx, both hx should be polynomial functions, that means, that means their division should be what? Should also give me something like continuous. Why? Because polynomial functions are continuous. gx, hx, gx, polynomial function, so continuous. hx polynomial function, so continuous. So continuous upon continuous means as we studied in the algebra of continuous functions that the quotient of continuous functions is also continuous. So continuous upon continuous is also continuous everywhere. Hence I say that my rational function is continuous everywhere. 